What's up you guys, it's Rissa and for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am getting ready for a date. Um, I know you guys probably aren't used to this, like what, Rissa is going on a date? Like, you know, I'm gonna go on a date, you know, nothing special. I'm just gonna be going on a date with myself. What? What the fuck? I had to get y'all for the one time, you know, I feel like I just needed to do that. I just wanted to name it get ready with me for a date because why not so yeah this isn't a real get ready with me for a date i'm gonna go take care of some things so i guess this is technically a get ready with me for a date a date with myself i really need it anyways i just wanted to say that i just wanted to get y'all real quick and the prank is over i'm not getting ready for a date Aww. okay for real this is a get ready with me this is kind of like my like my filming going out makeup before y'all even say anything i have designer this one is louis vuitton and maybe this one can be michael kors who knows let's just get right into the video okay so first off what we're gonna do is we're gonna do moisturizer first so i'm gonna be taking my nevia cream moisturizer and we're gonna put that all over our face because my face is pretty dry sometimes it can be on the dry side so we're gonna moisturize our face first um we're just gonna be talking i just wanted to talk like we, i feel like we haven't really had a conversation in a while i feel like we just don't talk so how have you been comment down below how you're doing i look dead like my bags are something serious like louis vuitton needs to go like look at the how dark my under eyes are I'm stressed. I'm tired all the time, y'all. I just be getting up too early in the morning. So, anyways, now we're gonna take my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus spray. Um, yeah, I just got it because I was like, why not try it out? So what I usually do, oh my god, what I usually do is I take my Nivea cream and then I put this on top, so it's like extra moisturizing. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I do it anyways. So we're just gonna spray it. Now my face is drenched. I'm gonna take like a birthday card that I have. I always keep birthday cards if y'all didn't know that. You probably don't, but whenever you, somebody gives me a birthday card, I literally keep it forever. So that's what I do, fun fact about me. I like to use for um, eyes, I use the Too Faced Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. And this is, I really like this one. Okay. I use this color right here, it's like a pinkish, shimmery color i put that all over and then the next shade over this one right here it's kind of like a brown orangey color i don't know what the color is but i use that and um i put that in my crease so we're just gonna put this all over our eyes we're gonna put on my eyelashes but i'm not gonna show this part just because i just literally just put them on my face so i use the atlanta lashes by the lily lashes and they're in atlanta so if y'all are wondering what my everyday eyelashes are those are what i've been wearing okay so i got my lashes on but now what we're gonna do is we're going to take my elf eyebrow kit and i don't really fill in my brows like how people they they shape it and everything like that I just don't do it. Um, maybe I should learn how to, but I feel like my eyebrows, they're already kind of shaped in the way that I would want them anyways. What I do is I just take the darkest one in the palette, and this is the light eyebrow thing. So I usually just kind of put it towards the ends of my eyebrows, just to kind of make them a little darker towards the tail. It looks better where it's just dark. It kind of goes with mine lashes if that makes sense i'll just do the same thing just kind of go over it i don't mess with the front like i said i leave the front alone so now we're going to move on to foundation when i do this i just take my beauty blender and i just kind of spray my fix plus on there i take my makeup forever hd and i am in the shade y415 so i just do that 
all over my face. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my Fit Me Concealer in 25 medium. Under our eyes, like three dots. And like that. And then I'm gonna take my mirror once again. And we're gonna blend that out. And if y'all have any tips on how to like not have creases under your eyes, please let me know. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take I have two powders that I usually use. I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder, and this one's usually like what I use every day for work and stuff like that. Like this is my go-to powder, and it's pressed, but I used it all. But for now, we're gonna use my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, and I usually put this right here in my T-zone and under my eyes because that really helps get rid of like the extra oils and stuff like that to like go away. And we're just gonna dip it in the powder and we're gonna just take this and put it under our eyes. Put that there. Put it on my powder. It's literally falling everywhere. But I put that on my T-zone. Just right there. Cause that's where I like get really oily. I get oily like right in this area. And I just put it on my nose and my chin but yeah i'm gonna let this sit in my face i'm gonna let it bake and then i'll be right back all right we let that sit for a little bit so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wipe it off just wipe everything so now as you can see my under eyes look very very bright so now we're gonna do so we're gonna take my my powder that barely has anything left we're just gonna we're just gonna swirl it as much as we can and we're just gonna put that on the rest of our face because you don't want everything else to just be brightened so you see how that it's like dark what i do is i like to just go back over with foundation on that spot and just kind of build up the the coverage I don't know why, just like this spot right here, it never wants to go away. Like no matter how many foundation layers I put, it just is always dark. And I don't like that. Like see, it's still dark. Whatever. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to highlight the Precious Petals by Wet n Wild. And I just use a random brush. And I'll just put that on my cheekbones. But first, I like to highlight my eyebrow bones, so I just do that first. Put it all on the ends, just like that. You can't really see it, it's fine. Um, I don't put any bronzer because I can't find a good bronzer for me. If you have any bronzer recommendations for me, please let me know because I have tried so many bronzers and they make me look like muddy where they just look like they're not bronzed enough. It looks like powder, like, it's just not cute. When I put it on my face, it just doesn't look cute. So for my lips, I like to prep my lips first. And um, there's this company, it's called Bizu, And this is my mom's friend, her name is Emily, and she has a business, and it's in the Philippines. So make sure you guys, if you're in the Philippine area, make sure you go check it out. Um, I have her Instagram right here. It's really good products. It's like really, really good quality and they're 100% natural and vegan. And I actually tried this when I was over there. So this isn't like sponsored or anything, you know what I'm saying? This is gen me genuinely trying to talk about it because this does work for your lips and your cheeks. So it's like a lip tint and a cheek tint, you know what I'm saying? Can you see it? It looks like this. And there's a bunch of different colors. And there's a bunch of different colors that she has. I think it's okay. Like that. That's the color of one of them. It's also 100% natural and organic. So, yeah, it's really good product. And the texture of it is very, very nice. It's like jelly. These are the same. So she has like a gel, like a jar form of the lip. And she also has a chapstick version. Put it on it. See, it gives you that nice, like, coral color. You know what I'm talking about? 
and it's not too much like oh i like this i feel like i'm a tropical princess oh my god it feels like i'm in hawaii or something for some reason i really recommend you guys go trying this product out y'all i really like this one this is a cute color like if you're just a person who just wants to put like a nice little pop of color you know put this on your lips and you'll be good to go because honestly i go to work like this nice little tint of color so i will have everything listed down below so you guys can go check her out like i said it's emily and the company is called bizou but it's spelled b-i-s-o-u-s but it's called bizou so make sure you guys go check that out um if you're in the philippines area like i said she is there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking my true brown lipstick and just lining our lips i usually use my nyx um brown lip liner but i never went to the store to get it so i have been using the true brown ever since and then what i take is my nyx london lip liner and i put that all over my lips it's immoral and i just kind of dab that on my lips to make it kind of one even color then I'll take my NYX in Madeline, which I also need to get a new one. And I'll put that all over my lips. Gosh, and then I'll take my lip light. My lipsticks are like all over the place. But then I'll take my NYX Soft Cream in London. And I'll just put that on like the middle of my lips. So i just put it like right here. Kind of like in the center. This is basically my everyday makeup routine, um, like filming wise and stuff like that. So that is my everyday makeup routine. Also, don't forget to check out Bisu by Emily. It will be in the description box. Y'all can go check it out. I'll leave her Facebook and her Instagram down below so you guys can go see. And like I said, she is based in the Philippines. So all my Filipinos out there, y'all go check her out. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see from me as well. And yeah, I will see y'all later.